What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite little spacing concepts in Madden 21. It's got a very unique curl route out of the white off trips pads formation that's found in the New England Patriots playbook. This formation is also called uh, the U-Trips formation and I really like this whenever my opponent starts to have to put his zone drops on 25 to 30 and then if they put these on you know five they could also put these on 10 uh, and this will still work really well but i want to just kind of break this down this is a really nice little spacing concept now if you've not already gotten my new england patriots offensive guide i want to encourage you to do that um, i'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video and the reason i want to encourage you to get that guide is because it breaks down every formation in the new england playbook as we prepare for Madden 22, the New England play Playbook is one of the favorites to be the best playbook in Madden 22 because it not only has trips tied in, it also has U-trips, has gun bunch, it has compression, it has a couple gun spread sets, it has some really underrated five wide sets, it's got split close, it's also got a slot um, and just kind of standard gun, gun doubles. So a lot of really unique and at the same time really powerful formations so if you want to get that new england patriots offensive guide i'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video now the play we're going to be going over is the play double ends and this is a really really good play for a lot of different reasons um, i'm going to break down really two to three different setups here um, or mainly just a couple routes that i want to really hit on so anyways doubles ends and i'm going to give you kind of two versions of this and it's really based around a couple of different routes on this play. The first route that we're going to go over um, is this route to the circle receiver. Let me just show you what this looks like. You see that it's basically a corner curl route. Um, and I can actually smart route this, as you can see right here. So we're not going to smart route it at first. I just want to show you the route. Um, the other thing that I'm going to do on this play is I'm actually going to take the tight end or the X. And I'm going to put him on a flat. I'm going to put the R1 on a curl. And then you can kind of do whatever you want on the left side. Um, I actually like to just take the square receiver and put him on a curl as well. As well, um, You could also put him on a post. If you don't want to do that, you can leave him on. Um, like if you have Slot Apprentice or you have Hot Rod Master, you can put him on a post just like this. You could also um, put him on, you know, like an underneath drag. There's really anything that you want to do. You could put him on. You could put him on a smart route of hitch, which honestly is probably what I'm going to do. But so many things that you can do. But really, I want to show you this right side route here. So if you look at this circle route, he's going to basically go to the sideline. And you'll see he's going to do this little stop route. What I like about this stop route is it gets underneath the zone drops. So if they drop their zones back to 25 or 30, to stop crossing routes, this little route right here is super, super good. So as you can see here, see where he's sitting? So he's sitting about 15 yards off the ball and literally on the furthest most corner of the field as a wide open target, okay? So I wanna show you a couple of adjustments that defense might do. Uh, the first thing I do wanna show you is what this route looks like smart routed. And then I wanna talk about some of the adjustments that your defensive uh, defensive players you know, might wanna put on their field. So. Again, as you're watching this, do know that I'm using a standard Mabel coverage, just like you would, you know, kind of see in, in Weekend League or something like that. Now, if I smart route this route, you're going to see it's going to go really quick. Same exact thing is going to happen. The biggest problem is if I smart route that route, it's going to allow that purple zone an opportunity to be able to play the route. And so there's a couple of things that you can do. The first thing is you could actually take your tight end and essentially not put him on a flat route. Um, that would be something you could do. And the reason you might do that um, is be, and I'll, and I'll go over that in just a minute, is just because the tight end is actually going to pull the zones to him, uh, unfortunately, just because of where he gets to on the field. So first and foremost, you're going to see I, I pushed these back to 30, uh, 10, and 10. I just want to show you that a 10-yard curl flat zone is still not going to be enough to get out on this. So you're going to see I'm just going to set this combination up. The smart routed version, you see that that 10-yard zone is not going to play it. You're going to get out there really nicely against the cover three defense. The other thing that I really like about this is this is a curl route, and so it naturally, it, it, it pretty much, um, just it just really naturally beats main coverage. So you can throw it on the cut, and you see this little back shoulder type of animation that he's going to be able to get on this cut. Um, another thing that you can do, let's say that they're shading their coverage over the top, Remember, this is a curl route, and so when he cuts to the sideline and he goes to stop, all we're going to do is just throw it, kind of anticipate it, and as you can see, 
we're going to get a nice little secure catch animation uh, to Mike Evans on that outside line. Okay, and again, if I shade coverage like underneath or something, uh, number one, Mike Evans is typically going to beat the jam. But if they do press, you see as soon as he turns around, I can just throw that with a with a uh, a low ball pass lead or just a I just have to throw it out there to him. Uh, one thing that I will tell you as far as like a pass lead goes that I find to be very effective, especially against man to man, because most people are going to like shade coverage inside and underneath to try to stop this. So what I like to do is I'm just going to throw it to the outside. So as you see there, now right there, bad example. Um, bad example of that because I probably threw that just a split second, uh, either too late or too early. But you got to work on your timing with this in practice mode. And get into a game and throw this route. But this route is really, really good. Um, and again, you'll see right here, whenever they beat the press, it is kind of throw off kind of the, you see how it kind of throws it off like that. Whenever they beat the press, you just want to throw it on the cut, like the initial cut. So let me see if I can get a press win animation. Um, and there is a little bit of a, a different type of window that you want to throw. So like right here, you see he's going to press him. So as soon as he turns around, he's not going to, you see he's not going to get out there and we're going to be able to make that play. Um, and then if they get a press win, which I think I'll get a press win right here, then all I've got to do, you see that press win? Just throw the outside on the corner and it's basically a corner route. Uh, as opposed to that. Now, I will tell you that most people aren't going to be impressed, man. If they are, we've got some answers for that um, throughout the rest of this play. For example, this running back route is another route that I like to use. This route kills man-to-man uh, -man coverage, especially if it's Green Bay. Um, obviously, I've got Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette's not the best route runner. So if I subbed in like Ronald Jones or something, I'd be pretty effective. But your opponent is going to go back and forth with whether or not he should run man-to-man -man on the running back. And this is a nice little route that you can use um, just to be able to beat the man. You see the little outcut right there and just gets to the sideline for an easy couple of yards. You also have the rest of your curl routes. You have, you know, two other curl routes on this play that are really good. But real quick before I want to go back, I want to go any further on man coverage. I want to show one other concept. So... Let's say that I don't like to put the tight end on a flat and I want to get a, a, a hitch on the field. Now what you're going to see is this corner route is basically your pull route. So he's going to pull all the flat zones. Um, he's still able to get in a very unique spot on the sideline. It's really actually pretty difficult for the sideline zones to be able to play him. And so the reason this is effective is because essentially what you're going to be able to do is you're gonna be able to hold their user in the middle of the field with your tight end, which now allows you even more space on this outside to basically throw this when he turns around, just like that right there. Now, the other thing that I wanna really encourage you to do is to leverage your little hitch concept uh, to, your, to, your, um, to your X receiver. So most of the time, the way people are going to defend this formation is they're going to use her on the tight end. So if they make that decision, you see we pull the zone and you can easily low ball the hitch against the cover three Mabel coverage. Now let's go to me and coverage for just one more second. I wanna talk about this left side a little bit and what we can put uh, on the field. Again, if you wanted to, you could put your tight end on a post route. You could use a hitch just like this right here. And then you could run like a fade to the square receiver. If you wanted to do something like that, totally makes sense and it's, it's relatively easy to implement implement but if you want to go with a little bit more of a traditional spacing type of concept one of the things i really like to do is put this square receiver on a post and motion him to the left just like this and you're going to see that this is this post route is going to just get in a really unique little spot against the coverage it's going to help to space out a little bit more um, so that's another little option that you can use uh, and then the last thing that I was going to share with you, if you don't have like a hot route master or if you just want to use a curl route, um, you can do double curls. This, the spacing in this formation is really unique. It's really effective. Um, and you're going to see that these curls are really good against man. Uh, all you got to do is low ball it uh, and, and basically click on and make a play. Now, one other thing I wanted to just kind of briefly hit on is this Babel coverage specifically when they're using the 10 yard uh, the 10 yard zone. So obviously on this left side, you're gonna see that the 10 yard zone is gonna basically drift. And as you can see, I can check down to the running back and take you know an easy couple of yards against pretty much any defense in the game. 
The other thing that you're going to be able to do out of this is you're going to notice that, you know, again, you're going to have a lot more space. So uh, another thing that you could do is you could take the square receiver. Uh, if you wanted to do something like this, then you could actually leave the square receiver on his route. I just want to show you the route. But basically, you're going to see he is going into the zone. He's not going to be a great look. You could also put him on a corner route if you like short side corners. Um, you could if you do that, if you have that ability. But, you know, honestly, the smart routed hitch or the curl is typically what I'll go to. Now, the thing I want to show you also, though, is what this does. Um, what Again, what this circle receiver does. So when he cuts, I'm throwing outside, all the way outside pass lead, click on, and I'm trying to make a play. Now, if you're starting to get a lot of deeper zone drops like that where they're really starting to drop people back, you can easily just take, take your hitches. Um, a little variance or a little variable of this play would be to do something essentially like this where we put square on a hitch. We're actually gonna motion him to the outside. We're gonna take the running back and put him on a flat route. And then we're gonna run our combination on the backside like this. This combination right here is borderline unstoppable because nothing is gonna go guard to square. So you've got the right side, which has to be user, and now you've got the left side, which has to be user. So this is just a unique little spacing concept. And again, if you start to see that they are going with like a 10 yard Mabel, I just wanna show you one last time, um, you can do multiple things with that route. If you wanna smart route it, you certainly can. Um, and you're gonna see like, just quick pass lead out, it turns it into an out route basically uh, against that coverage. So you can throw this on the out cut and not have to worry too much. You literally can throw this like a corner route if you can get the timing down. The timing is like the thing that is like the most hard to be able to consistently work for you. Um, but if you wanna, again, add an additional route to the middle of the field where you're doing something like this, then essentially your corner route is your, is your outside pull route. And I do know that cover three does decent on that out cut. Uh, last coverage that I haven't gone over yet is cover two. Now, typically, the other thing about this is out of cover, th when people are running cover two, or not cover two, cover three, they're going to deep half against this formation uh, because there is a lot of ways to glitch out the deep third if they aren't. But, you know, anyways, so let's just go over this right circle. So you're going to see um, same kind of thing. But as you see right there, this the cover two does a lot better job of getting zones out there. So we've got a ton of plays in this playbook that are going to be able to kill cover two, and we'll go over some of those later on. But this is going to force them to have to go to something like that because you can literally just essentially, like against man coverage, right on the cut, just throw it. It's simple. Um, and, of course, I'm throwing it a little bit too late, and it's giving the corner too much time to come back on it. Um, you can also, like, you could also easily just wait, like wait on the route to curl up. But you see right there, kind of get it out there and, uh, and throw this route. Again, the biggest thing that I want to stress with this is if you smart route it, um, you have to be ready for that. One other little thing that you can do with this that I didn't cover yet is essentially turning this into a like mesh post kind of route. So I can basically motion this across. And what you're going to see is this is now going to turn into like a little post curl. Um, these post curl routes are really, really good, especially against, you know, a lot of like user defenders and stuff in the middle of the field. So the way we can kind of piece this all together is I could basically do something like this. I could take the X receiver, put him on a crosser. I could take the R1 receiver and put him on like a hitch route. And then I could take the back and put him on a wheel. And then I could basically do whatever I want with the tight end. If I want to put the tight end on a crosser, or uh, I'm sorry, a streak or a delay fade, I could do any one of those things. But what you're going to see is really nice spacing out of this concept. You're going to get this nice uh, hitch crosser concept, which is really, really good. The flat zones aren't going to cover the crosser if you have a hitch on the field. And then you've also got a really nice little... Um, like this route is really good when you motion it over because he's just going to sit against, you know, pretty much any zone. And there's not, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to stop this, this uh, concept. So again, let me show you, you see how circle is just going to sit in this really unique window in the zone that they're not going to really use or they're not really going to think about. So I wanted to at least get that in. I didn't, I know I'm going a little long in this video, 
but I just wanted to break this play down. There's a lot you can do with this concept is what I'm getting at. Um, with this, when you start motioning this over, um, like little things like this, you could take square, um, like I could put triangle on a wheel, I could put square on a hitch, and then I could motion this guy over, and wherever you want him to go can be where he goes. So if I want to snap him right here, you're gonna see he's gonna go a little bit more in the middle of the field. See how he pulls the yellow, and I can throw that little hitch underneath. So just go crazy with this route. I think this route's got a lot of uh, uniqueness to it, and I think it's got a lot of potential to really mess up some defenses. So thanks for watching this video, and if you wanna learn the rest of the New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video for you.